Now to the deep freeze, which has broken or tied more than 2,600 cold weather records in the lower 48 states so far this month. And there's still a week left. The frigid temperatures and the way some people are trying to stay warm are fueling a spike in the type of fires that are among the most difficult to fight. Here's Terrell Brown. This six alarm fire raged in Union City, New Jersey Friday when it was 10 degrees outside with a wind chill of minus five. This shows how, how cold it was that night. Fire Chief Frank Montaigne said this is the busiest time of year for fire calls. People are cold in the house. They want to get more heat into the house, and there may be some misuse of some of that equipment. You know, the, the heaters, the space heaters that we've seen have been a, a, a problem in our area. But when firefighters arrive on the scene of these fires, flames aren't their only concern. Because of the frigid cold and ice, they have to move more slowly and cannot work for long periods of time. Hydrants freeze, making water difficult to find, and when water is available, it becomes a big hazard. It immediately freezes on anything it touches, affecting everything from radio communication to firefighters' protective uniform. Once the water starts hitting the gear, that's added weight. The firefighters carry anywhere from 50 to 40 to 50 pounds just from their normal gear. Now add water and ice that's freezing on it. Firefighters are coated in ice. Deputy Fire Chief Bob Cusson fought a fire in Syracuse this week and said the weight of the ice also creates another challenge. You can see the ice build up on the building. Uh, that creates more uh, weight on the structure itself and the fire is, you know, the building's already under attack by the fire weakens the structure and now you got additional weight hanging on it from the ice. Here in New Jersey, that thick ice has firefighters concerned about the possibility of collapse even after the flames are out. And when these large fires break out, sometimes double the number of firefighters are called to the scene, Jim, so they can be rotated out of the cold to avoid frostbite. Unbelievably difficult conditions. Terrell, thank you.